What is going on guys? It is shoot 'em up here and you know, I'm not gonna lie, I really um had no clue <laughs> of what to commentate about. What kind of topic should I talk about? And uh, I was just sitting here thinking and you know, Call of Duty has been going on since basically for most people 2007, I believe, for uh which is whenever Call of Duty 4 came out and that's basically whenever Call of Duty blew up and whatnot. It wasn't Call of Duty 3 or Call of Duty 2. It was more or less Call of Duty 4. And um, it's been uh, 2012. It's going to be five years now, basically six, five, six years or whatever, um, since Call of Duty's been out. And uh, I guess it's semi dying down. I mean, there's a lot of noobs in the game. I mean, all the um, old, the older people, like my age and older, um, that basically started playing back in like Call of Duty 2, 3, 4, and stuff like that. Um, most of us are kind of leaving the game because a lot of <laughs> these noobs are coming in and it seems like uh, Treyarch and Infinity Ward are making the games um, easier, um, a little bit more noobish friendly, especially Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 was the worst. It was so noob friendly. Um, it's pretty ridiculous. And that caused a lot of us veteran gamers to, you know, leave. And a lot of people are just like, you know, Call of Duty is Call of Duty, it's same old, same old, you're just going to be terrible, there's going to be campers everywhere, and they're just not buying Black Ops 2. They're, the pre-orders are have really not been as big of a spike, you know, as in the past. The hype is, uh, you know, it's always good, but I think that um, it's way below what it should be um, with the hype and the expectations and stuff, because... Um, as you know Treyarch does do a good job it's just that the name Call of Duty in front of it is making he people hesitant to buying it and um, for me um, there's two more chances for Call of Duty to make its uh, big stand to be able to be that number one game by far without a doubt um, out there again now Black Ops 2 is gonna be the first step in this if Black Ops 2 which I hope it isn't but if it is a flop um, I really hope it's not. I hope it's going to be a really good game. I mean, it looks like it is, but you know, there are a few things that you know, maybe people might abuse. But for the most part, it looks good. But you know, then again, doesn't everybody say that every year Call of Duty comes out? And people were talking about Modern Warfare 2 when it came out. It was the best game ever. Black Ops. It was the best game ever. And Black Ops is a really good game. There's not as much BS stuff in it, but it's just a lot more slow paced. And um, in my opinion, the maps aren't the greatest. Um, so you know. Every year, people are like, this is going to be the best Call of Duty ever. You know, I'm not saying Black Ops 2 is going to be the best Call of Duty ever. I think, for me, um, Modern Warfare 2, aside from the BS, um, if you get a good lobby, that one, for me, is the funnest game to play. Um, I don't know if it would be classified as the best, but for me, it's just the most enjoyable one when you're not getting noob-tubed every five seconds. But um, if Black Ops 2 is a flop, if it goes down the toilet drain as just a terrible game, um, there's one more hope for Call of Duty. They're, the new systems, um, I don't think they've been confirmed about coming out in 2013, but I'm 99% sure they're going to come out basically around Christmas time next year. And um, Modern Warfare, the next Infinity War game is going to come out on the, uh, let's just say Xbox 720, PS4, uh, Wii U, all that, all the next generation consoles. And with the current consoles like the Xbox 360 and the PS3, the developers are kind of hindered in what they can do. And once these new consoles come out, there's going to be a huge variety, just a whole big list of new things and new ideas that they're actually going to be able to do. And that is, in my opinion, the last chance that Call of Duty has to become the number one game because they can really take advantage of this. And I'm sure that <laughs> this is really the the last chance or one of the first chances for the, a new game to come and beat out Call of Duty because this is the way I see it. No game this year is just going to beat out Call of Duty. Battlefield's not going to do it. No, no other game. I don't think that another game is going to beat Call of Duty that has been invented yet. I think it's going to be coming out um, whenever the new consoles come out and they're just going to take full advantage and it's just going to be something so totally new um, that everybody's just going to jump onto it and it's going to be amazing. So it's either going to be 
Call of Duty's time to shine and for the next gen consoles and Xbox 720 PS4 or it's going to be some other game that's going to emerge the first or second year of the console that I strongly believe within one or two years so basically in two to three years I don't think that Call of Duty it Call of Duty will either be stronger than ever or it'll be at its weakest point ever and they might just stop making it kind of like uh, Activision stopped making Guitar Hero but anyways guys that's it in this video hopefully you guys did enjoy it leave your comments down below and make sure you click the video of my last videos if you haven't seen it right now and I will see you guys uh, later